In the chat box for my Twitch stream, you'll find chat commands outlining builds I use for certain Pokemon. It's been a while since I've updated most of these, and they were starting to look really cringe. So I decided now is the time to update them all. This video will serve as an explanation on why I think these are the best builds for solo queue. And at any point in the future, you can visit my stream, whether I'm online or not, you can type exclamation mark, followed by the name of the Pokemon for an updated build. Good luck. Okay, this format seems good. The first part are the abilities. Second are the items. In brackets are the variable ones for the most part. And then the battle items. And hopefully people understand that the order that they're in is probably like the order I think they're viable, but it's they're interchangeable anyway. Awesome. So let's do that for every Pokemon. Why don't we, right? Okay, Delphox builds. This is actually, I mean, this Pokemon's so new that I don't really know what a good build for them would be. Not Gibby doesn't have it either. But I don't know. Easy start are their moves, right? Fire Spin is the reason why you're gonna go this Pokemon. Is that what it's called even? Fire Spin, yeah. So you definitely go Fire Spin. Choices between Mystical Fire and Fire Blast. I, I see people go Fire Blast, but I feel like mis it has to just be Mystical Fire. Right? Like it lowers the cooldown of all your moves at 11, which lets you do uh more fire spins. And you don't get that from Fire Blast. Like that reason alone makes me think this just has to be the move. I think you probably, if you want a real build, you probably have to play Buddy Barrier. The ult is such low cooldown and it lets you team fight in the ult team fights or out of them like really nicely. You get to choose if you want to play crits or not. I think choice specs is too much damage to give up. So you have to play choice. And then the third item, you get to decide. Like I think standard build wise, I think Amp is probably good. I think Wise is okay. I think Scope is good. I wouldn't say Focus, but I think these are probably good. Most casters, I think, are going to prefer X Speed, but I think either X Speed or Eject are both fine. Dragon Knight, okay. This is an interesting Pokemon. So pretty much like you can, there's an attack weight build and it says it's the default here. I wouldn't, the math probably says that attack weight's a cracked item for hyper beam and it's not, it's definitely, it definitely is. And I think it's a viable build for you to go attack weight on this Pokemon, but fighting this Pokemon in the early and mid game when it's a noodle and it has razor claw is so annoying. I don't know how many people know, but Dragonite is considered me a melee attacker. Why does it say physical attacker here? I guess there's all rounder tag, but he's considered melee um, by the game standards, even though he has ranged attacks. And why that's relevant is for this item right here, Razor Claw. He's considered melee and he gets this proc that other ranged Pokemon wouldn't normally get. While this item is held by a melee Pokemon, this basic attack also slows enemies for two seconds. So you combine this slow with red buff because you're normally jungling and the slow stack. And then on top of that, you stack it with the Dratini's boosted autos, which, um, which does a stun. You pretty much can't move. You just get like perma stunned, perma snared by this Pokemon. And the other part that makes Razor Claw broken is you get to proc it on Dragon Dance, which, you know, has a base five second cooldown, but Dragonite's basic attacks reduces the cooldowns of Dratini's moves. Every attack reduces Dragon Dance's cooldown. So you pretty much can Dragon Dance every two seconds, which means that you get to proc this Razor Claw every two seconds, which does 50% of your attack and damage plus 20, and also does this slow, which lets you continuously attack them. Meaning that I would not play this Pokemon without Razor Claw. Like, it's just, yes, you can play this build right here and it's a good build. And in some games, it might be the better build because you just get the bigger Hyper Beam. But if if I'm you guys and I want to pick this Pokemon to the ladder, you're going to see so much value with Razor Claw. And it'll teach you. It'll make you more diligent about autoing after Dragon Dance. Like, it's a good item to teach you the game as well. So, yeah. Let's, let's stick with the build around that. The 
Groudon. This Pokemon's weird. Let's see what Unite DB has to say about this Pokemon. Um, build wise, I would say like both builds seem fine. Like I think Dragon Pulse seems like a fine build. I think Flash Cannon seems like a fine build. If I'm playing Flash Cannon, I feel like you have to play with Dragon Tail. If you're playing D Pulse, I think I don't know if you have to play with Stealth Rock, but this moveset definitely feels a lot better. Um item build wise, I think this seems fine. I think I'd agree with going muscle scope. Um I've seen a lot of people play attack weight, and I think buddy muscle attack weight's probably fine. I think Focus Band is the alternative to Buddy Barrier, if you would want to run it. Um, but this Pokemon gets their Unite move interrupted so many times. I don't know if you guys have seen that happen to Duraldons a lot. But their Unite move has a really long charge up. He basically draws a circle on the ground. And for most of his drawing circle animation, he can just get stunned. And if his Unite gets interrupted, it goes, on, goes to 90% charge. Um... But if you have a buddy barrier, your buddy barrier will proc, obviously, the moment you press the button. So a lot of times, like if your ult gets interrupted, at least you know, in that moment, you have the buddy barrier shield. And if you don't use your unite for another 30 seconds, because that's what the buddy barrier cooldown is, you just get like another buddy barrier value. I'd say like buddy, in my opinion, is probably the better defensive item, but and then obviously like focus man, you're just going to get one shot through it a, a lot of times anyway, because your HP is so low. I think it's it's a fine alternative. Uh, Eldegoss. So Eldegoss Pawn Puff at this point is unplayable. The damage sources happen way too quickly. Um, I think the games where I might go Pawn Puff would be if our Hoopa, if I, we already had a Hoopa on our team, because we should. This is competitive, at least. Um, our Hoopa went Trick. Trick Shadow Ball, so they have no way to recover HP on our team other than the Trick last hit, the Life Seal. And the enemy team has, like, a Decidueye or a Venus or, like, a Sniper. And we, like, it feels like the extra regen is what's going to make the difference. But... Other than that, I, I can't see any reason why you'd go Pollen Puff. It's gonna be Leaf Tornado every game. And then... I think Con Guard and Con Spore are both viable, to be honest. Like, Con Guard's been nerfed a lot. Uh, and Con Spore's been buffed a lot. I wouldn't say I would run them every time. It's definitely... It has its niche, and it's not a bad ability. Like, it counters Hoopa, for example. Because you can knock people out of the portal. And that's one of the best things you can do. And it's just annoying CC in a meta that doesn't have a lot of CC going around. I think Con Guard is the default, but uh, I'll put Spore in brackets just because it's a, a viable alternative and we'll give it a shout out. Um, you always, always, always going to run Muscle Band on this Pokemon. Most of its value comes from its basic attacks. And just because it's a special attack Pokemon doesn't mean it doesn't benefit from muscle band effect itself which is attack speed and uh the max hp shred that it has or the current hp shred it has and the 15 attack i mean you do your basic autos a lot it definitely all adds up you always want to have a defensive item and you get to choose freely between buddy and focus you should run one of them now this is the hard part like i think buddy barrier despite focus band being i mean buddy being nerfed i think buddy is still the better defensive for Eldegoss. Eldegoss did get a United Move Charge buff, so it feels nice having the shield. It also gives you time to heal your teammates. It lets you do an offensive ult after you shield your teammates. Like, it's just... I think people got off of Buddy because they were sick of playing it, but it's definitely just still a great item. Max HP is also really, really good. So I'd play Muscle Buddy, and then I'd say Focus is probably... This is probably your best solo queue build, Muscle Buddy Focus. And then I think XP Chair, if fives. And I'll put Choice Specs here as well as an option. I think Choice Specs are a really good Aldegoss item too. So 
run Espeon next. Espeon, another new Pokemon. I think I agree that you have to be Psy Shock Psy Beam or Psy Shock Future Sight. You wouldn't just be Choice Specs. Like, the item is just so broken. Like, you have 218 special attack at level four. A uh, level four. Choice specs are a must. Uh, I think Buddy is fine. I honestly think it's like the standard caster build is what the best is. I think you could go Amp. Um, but I think I'd go like Choice Wise Focus or Choice Wise Buddy. Mate, nah, you probably need Buddy on this Pokemon to be honest. The way the alt works, you probably you have to play Buddy Barrier. Um, I think Amp is maybe okay instead of Wise. Eject obviously feels really nice with their Unite move. I'd want to say you could maybe go X Speed, but Eject on their Unite feels way too strong. So I think Espeon, if you're playing a serious build, you always go Side Shock. I think Future Sight and the other one are probably both good. They both seem good. Future Sight, Side Beam. Uh, I think you want to run Buddy. I think you want to run Choice. And I think you get to choose the last one. Charm. Probably the only Pokemon in the game I haven't played, but this is the build that Toon goes. This is the build that makes the most sense to me. I still feel like Razor Claw is broken on this Pokemon. When do you how do you remove an item from this, you know? If if that, if Garchomp kills you when he's on top of you and not dead, and all he needs is the muscle band to do it, like there's no reason not to be two tank items, right? But I don't know, Razor Claw just feels like it'd be such a good item on this Pokemon. You definitely just go the Dragon build though. That one's easy. And I think I'm just gonna leave it Buddy Muscle Focus. Being able to like kidnap the bees or kidnap Audinos by just dragging rushing them straight to Africa, pretty good. And if you if this Pokemon gets like fully stacked in a fight, and he isn't like he hasn't taken most of his HP at that point. Pretty much just gonna pop off. It's actually like, I don't know. If he if he gets the chance to stack in the fight on his basics, he's wilding. So you need muscle. Focus just feels naturally good on him. He has a high health pool. And then why not go buddy barrier? I don't play this Pokemon. It's a build I see other people play. I think it's good. Drop buddy for scope depending on what you're against. Yeah, that makes sense to me. The weakness policy good on Chomp? Probably okay. Probably pretty good. But, I don't know. The guard command has to be wrong because I haven't fixed it in a while, but let's see. Oh. Doesn't seem awful, but no, you should play, you should definitely play wise glasses to try specs on this top one. Um, yeah, I don't agree with this either. I mean, this build's also fine. You could play this, it's fine. But Choice Specs, again, just broken on any Pokemon that has reasonably high special attack, which almost every special attacker does. And one of the only Pokemon in the game that like actually scales ridiculously on Wise Glasses because your special attack is so high. The alternative being like special attack specs for some Pokemon, horrible Pokemon to snack on. Um, I don't see, I mean, maybe you could run Amp over Wise, but honestly, like, I think, again, like, I want my builds to be simple enough that if you just come to get a build, you're, you get the build, it's gonna work for you. You don't have to think too much about it. And maybe Focus is a good alternative for that, but Wise definitely is the go-to. Um, I'll put Focus in there because some people might not have Wise glasses leveled up. Um, and I think focus is fine, like for most most games. But spells wise, I don't believe in Psy Shock. I think if you're playing this Pokemon, you want to play it for Future Sight. And especially like ever since it got buffed to get it at level five, that's what makes this Pokemon feel strong. If I had to pick one, this move got buffed. Maybe it's playable, but if you come to me for a build, I think you should just play just play Future Sight. I think the other move is more variable, but I'll put Psychic first.
Gengar. I think the build is you go wise, choice wise, and then special attack specs with your alternative being focus band. And you almost always run eject in both builds. And I think both these builds are viable. Funny thing is this build is just more viable on mobile, sadly. Uh, so I think you always choice, always, 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 like I've explained so many times already. Um, Pokemon's all about one-shotting, so the wise is nice with the choice. And then your last item, I think focus is probably best by default, but I think going triple specs with special attack specs is also really, really strong. And I think you always run eject on this Pokemon. Just the extra add-in mobility is really nice. Maybe with this build, you could go full heal. Yeah, I, I think I'd agree. What about Razor Claw? It's a melee attacker, right? Wait a second. Level 9, he gets 243 attack. And the Hex Sludge Bomb build resets his boosted autos. 120... 130-ish damage. And a slow? No. But imagine, though. You know what would be funny? And the, I know for a fact the game doesn't work this way. But if you could proc Hex off of the Razor Claw slow, I would say you could play... The item would be playable then. Right? <laughs> but that, imagine that interaction. You Hex, your next basic attack is boosted, procs Razor Claw, and then you just auto-Hex them. The game doesn't work that way, but if it did, then Razor would be insane on this Pokemon. Testing it, 100% sure it does not work. Okay, we'll test it. So we're gonna Sludge Bomb here, proc our Razor Claw, and then Hex, and Hex isn't gonna get refreshed. It didn't. But as you can see here, it does. All right, guys. It's the end of the stream, but also it's the end of our Pokemon Builds video. We got up to, we did Delphox to Gengar today. Next stream, we're gonna do Greedent to, next stream will be Greedent to Pikachu. Halfway done on fixing the commands in our stream. They're looking pretty good. Thank you guys for uh, hanging out through it. And bye.